Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today I will let you understand how we can use our free software Ara Paint as our free tool for designing basic jacket uh, designs. So um, let's get started. Uh, let's first see how this uh, can be. How can we get this uh, Ara Paint? Here is the link of uh, the website uh, from where you can download this software and also the direct link to the uh, uh, solution file ara paint 6 you need a 64 bit operating system otherwise you can get the ara paint file for you uh, after you install the software you can go and find uh, uh, you can uh, find the help uh, in the resource. you can also get the um, access to the uh, these different resources online by going to the software and in the help menu you can download uh, different manuals and tutorials also in this slide you can see a link of uh, the video tutorials and the playlist of youtube that i made for you you can uh, access this from this link uh, now let's uh, get uh, introduction to the interface of our software uh, dear students uh, here uh, you can see the interface of uh, ara paint uh, on the on the right you can see the various tools available to interact with the images that we can load here in the workspace area uh, whenever a tool is selected its uh, properties and uh, details are uh, select, uh, shown over here and uh, the colors and layers and pattern that we select and we, that we uh, use to fill our images can be shown over here this is the layers area or colors area uh, here is the toolbar uh, different uh, different options are available in the toolbars and uh, you can find the help file in more detail and the quick uh, pattern pattern technique as well as the shortcuts uh, I shared with you uh, online and now I will show you how you can open the images you can go to the file and you can ask for loading a picture so this is a jpeg file so you can load images over here you can see it's uh, pixels horizontal pixels on the top and vertical pixels on the on the left and um, here the different tools are now active and you can operate them and uh, you can uh, change your image with the help of these uh, uh, tools and whenever you select a tool you will see that this information is updated over here and how you can interact with this tool to the upload the image so uh, here is the interface of, of our um, software on our pen dear students uh, as we have seen uh, the other part now let's we see how we can reduce the uh, number of colors in an image dear students uh, uh, once you have uh, loaded the image uh, you can do many uh, functions with our with your image um, and you can find the basic information on the top uh, which uh, image you are opening and uh, you can see this resolution and uh, the zoom level over here for example if I zoom out from here so you can see now it is 80% uh, of the view is well visible so uh, you can uh, do many things one of the main thing you can do is to uh, the most basic thing is uh, to have the uh, graphics you can even create graphics in, in this uh, software but we are starting with already made graphics for example we have this logo of the university so we want to uh, let's suppose we want to reduce the number of colors generally the jpeg images have uh, millions of colors so we want to reduce them because later on we want to fill uh, different portion with uh, different beads so uh, let's uh, reduce the number of colors in this image so you go to the, to the um, color and set number of colors uh, here you, you will find a new uh, uh, dialog box will open so you can uh, you can reduce it by one by one or I have to go only for the, with the minimum number of colors to do it once you preview it you can see the two colors will only show the image like this and if I go to increase the number of colors you will see that the elements will uh, 
uh, will be visible the thread elements now are visible if I still need the number of colors so here we uh, it is more visible but you see the dark color over here is gone if we if I still increase the number of colors it is there but it is not actually what it should be and if I go increasing the number of colors you see there's some artifacts are looking over here if I increase the number of colors so it is better than before and uh, I suppose still I uh, need to increase the number of colors because uh, you see the, the, the color is not the same uh, and you over here is uh, what it was it should be so once I increase the number of colors that is sufficiently good enough and when the element is some information is must not be lost when you reduce number of colors too much high the image uh, lose its different portions its different parts so the color must be enough that uh, the uh, necessary information is not lost so you maybe increase the number of color increasing does not help so no element is coming after uh, beyond increasing the number of colors from 10 so I keep it to the number of 10 colors you can use the option of the uh, dether but uh, for our jacquard application we do not want to use the dether option you see noise will be there so we do not want a noise and also we don't want a noise produce produce for, for our these colors so I, I keep this level to the minimum now once we are satisfied I can go and click OK and now we have uh, very few number of colors available over here dear students uh, when you load some image you, you will see after uh, you specify the number of colors uh, you will see that there are small artifacts and the noise in the in your image uh, this uh, this noise of one pixel or small is not required we do not want this to happen like this for this reason for for this to remove uh, what we need is to use um, cleaning options that is we put this brush to uh, one this pixel to one then we apply the fit, uh, option of averaging what it does is uh, for one pixel it averages the number of colors so you see that more of the artifacts are gone still we want to uh, if we use the scalpel this the scalpel also reduces the uh, one uh, uh, noise in the image you see it is much cleaner than before and so we will have we already have 10 colors now we will replace uh, the extra colors for example we can replace this two number color with four by right clicking it you see the artifacts are gone from here and for this color I want to maybe I want this color be replaced by this color press this and right click over here you see the artifacts are gone from here then I want to change uh, uh, for example 8 with 9 and, and also I want to replace this uh, uh, 6 uh, for example 0 with 6 and 5 so we are left with our 5 colors so uh, how where we maybe got our image that have has much less noise and uh, uh, reduced number of colors in it. Uh, dear students, uh, we have shown the reduction in color. Now we need to see how we can build the library of beads. Uh, for later on, we need this library of beads to be used in uh, in our uh, for our uh, loom file. Now, dear students, uh, once we have our uh, image in a good shape and then reduce number of colors, now we need uh, to fill different parts of our design with the uh, with different bees so that it could be ready for a monochrome and it has a PMP to do it to fit for to our design check out. To do that, uh, we need to uh, have the bees. For example, first we can save this image as. Uh, now we will open now we'll open our new picture and let's put we want our um, seven and thirteen 
8 and starting and then let's probably we need a for starting we need uh, 8 warps and we will need 8 maps okay and call it this one but this is not the the bit it will be very small so you have to zoom in then we select our color from here double click uh, we select our color from here double click over it and then we do some black because we want our image to be black and white only so we select from pencil from here we select the black color from here this is the color number one so we mark a straight line and then we now this tool and now uh, once we have uh, after measuring tool we define uh, we need to tell this vertical line that was the black color once we are satisfied with our distribution of uh, the uh, black color that is the, uh, representing a inherent certain meaning so we can go and save it as can see over here with the name that is thin eight a so we give this a name okay save it uh, let's suppose we want to make more shade of this we go again to select pencil and we select we add one more point for each uh, I already have a dark spot to the right and we save it as we say it as B again we still increase in float length that is warp float length if whites are webs then we are increasing float length well, actually actually we are decreasing float length of webs we are making more warp apparent on the face so we save this as a C and we continue till we have 7 variations of our 8 and sardine Dear students, uh, uh, now we will see how we can replace this uh, uh, the deep library that we produced uh, with the colors in the image and how we can save a loop file. Dear students, uh, once we have produced the number of colors in our image and we have defined the total number of colors uh, to what we require and our image is in good shape and no information is lost after reduction of the colors. Uh, and also once we have uh, created the library of weaves that we require to fill in our image for our final uh, BMP file for our jacquard machine we need to uh, now replace these colors with the uh, weaves library that we created for that we will be going to use our fill tool and in fill tool we will use the stamping option and we can import different weaves from uh, uh, the library we created. For example, uh, we created sardine, seven and eight and sardine. Then we increase uh, the float of the warp uh, step by step, unless we reach sardine. So we created this these weaves. We are going to fill these weaves as per the shade of our. Uh, color in the in the image for example the smallest color the least uh, most bright color is this one we will fill this with sateen then the second gray color is this, this one we will fill it the next step little darker we, then the fourth color then the fifth color and then the fifth color so let's get start go for example we'll load this first color over here we ask it for um, as a brush to be filled as a brush in the whole image now the stamping will be used so when I'll, I will uh, fill this 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 B will be filled in all the color the way the B white color is because of this so on, a, on which color I will put this uh, that color will be placed with this B you see it is filled everywhere now if I change this to the second step is this one. I this color I choose this B and give it to this 
this color then the second step would be uh, this third step would be maybe I skip this and I choose this one I gave this to our blue color and uh, then the I skip one more point I get to this one to our this color and the most dark color is this one I gave it to be this most dark color over here so once we finished uh, assigning beeps to different colors we end up with a monochrome image this monochrome image is now in can be saved as BNP image we can save it as file 1 this will be the room file that can be fed to the jacquard for viewing we save it as BNP image so that the BNP image is the most common and can be read by different uh, electronic um, uh, terminals of the jacquard viewing machine so we save it BMP save it as a save and now we have this file as a save BMP image and then we can feed this to our jacquard and can have made this logo into the fabric thank you very much